Hi guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to our channel. So I'm super excited to show you guys how I achieved this really warm cut crease look with that copper glitter on the outer corner and I was really inspired by Bella's last upload so this look is kind of inspired by that look but if you guys are interested in knowing how I achieved this look then just go ahead and keep on watching. So first thing I'm doing as usual is priming my eyelids and I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color light and I'm just applying a nice even base on my lid and then buffing it out with a damp beauty sponge and setting it with a little bit of translucent powder. For today's palette, I'm using the BH Cosmetics X Sylvia Ghani palette, which is one of my favorite palettes at the moment. And I'm first going into that ginger shade. I am just applying that shade into my crease and kind of winging out that outer corner because we are going to be doing a cat eye type of look. So I'm just mapping out that shape with this first transition color. And then next I'm going to be picking up a fluffier brush and I'm just going to further diffuse it. Next, I'm picking up this angled brush and this burgundy shade in the palette, which is one of my favorite shades in this palette. And I'm just starting to carve my crease. If you aren't really good at this step, a good tip is to start in the center. That way you get the height of it down and then do the outer corner and then the inner corner. And then that way it's just a nice even line. Next, I just picked up a really small tapered brush and I'm just going into that first ginger shade and just going in left and right motions and just slowly starting to diffuse that line and I'm trying to keep it in the same area that I applied it. Next, I'm picking up my Tarte Shape Tape once again and this angled brush that I use to carve my brows so any really sharp precise angled brush that you have will work for this step even if it's not angled just any concealer brush that you could use for that step and I just applied a nice even base on my lid and I also picked up some translucent powder the one that I'm using is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder and I just lightly set it because we are going to be applying other shades over top so as you can see here I picked up a tapered brush and some more of that ginger shade and I'm just starting to diffuse that and just bringing it in and I'm bringing it in quite a bit and then I picked up the burgundy shade and this pencil brush and I'm just packing that onto the outer corner and just starting to build more depth and more dimension and then picking up this really big fluffy brush and some more of that ginger shade and just really merging the two together and also bringing it in more, bringing in that color about halfway on the lid and then going back in and adding a little bit more depth and with a lot of these looks that I do, I have to go back in several times to make sure that the look is blended and also that it's intense and the color is there and the color has payoff as much as I want it to. So next I'm picking up that same brush that we used to carve the crease and I'm just kind of patting that burgundy shade in the shape of a wing and I just really want this look to look super smoky and I didn't want to leave that upper lash line super bare so I definitely love how looks look when they have a smoky liner so that's just what I did for that step and then next I picked up my Too Faced Glitter Insurance Glitter Glue which is one of my favorite glitter glues also the NYX one is really good as well next I just picked up my Taffy Glitter by Eye Candy Cosmetics which is one of my favorite glitters and I'm just patting this glitter right before the outer corner and I'm making it in kind of an angled shape so I'm just kind of tapping off the excess to make it look a little bit blended and then peeling off my tape and for lashes today I'm using my Shop Sophie Bella Bali lashes and if you guys want a discount code for this week then use the code 15 Bali at checkout for 15% off and the link for that will be in the description box down below and then for the lower lash line I just wanted to keep it super basic and I just thought that it looked pretty with only that ginger shade 
uh, buffed out underneath. And then I'm picking up my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just applying that onto my lower lashes. Next, I just picked up my spoolie and I ran it through some bar soap and then ran it through my brow. And then for my inner corner highlights, I'm going to be using my Mika Forever Starlet Powder number 13. I've kind of been liking the no brow bone highlight and only inner corner highlight. Let me know if you guys like it as well. You guys know the drill. If you want to be entered in our monthly giveaway, then just go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell button so you turn your post notifications on. And then comment done in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!